Hello again, YouTube. This is Eric Palacio. And as I promised, I have a video, a video, my ass, uh, an audio clip. I want to say video so bad. <laughs> I, I don't have my, my C920 yet. C920. All right, hold on, you guys. I'm going to pick up my guitar over here. And oh, yeah. Ugh. Let's get off my bitty bit. What the hell is my guitar? This is why it sucks not being able to see people. Oh, here it is. Uh, okay, I'm back. We're back! No, just kidding. Uh, Joe Pesci, Lethal Weapon 3. We're back! Yeah. Doesn't sound like Joe Pesci. I sound cooler than Joe Pesci. And I'm not bald. And stupid. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're not stupid, Joe Pesci. I was kidding. I love your movies. Big fan. Big fan. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm taking this time to crawl up Joe Pesci's ass. Just kidding. <laughs> I do think it's a little weird the feud he had with Macaulay Culkin because he was just a little boy. and Unless the media made it up. Who knows what the hell the media made up, you know? I mean, they made up Michael Jackson pretty good, didn't they? Bastard media fatherless media all right so i'm sorry then no more uh, no more making fun of the media which causes a lot of problems a lot of problems all right um i've been working on this one that's a nice song no i'm just kidding um <clears throat> some of them i haven't named yet because like sometimes when i get when I get into the, what I've noticed now is when I start recording, when I started recording in, in, in the studio by myself, like normally, I started noticing that I started, I started, I start, I start, I start, I start, start, start this and start that. I want to record the song during the recording process to like, sort of like, uh, did I just say what I thought I said? I'm such an idiot. Um... <laughs> I want. I wanted to. I want to finish the song during the recording process. Like uh, I get in there and I, I have some of the words. I'm like, you know what? Let's just. I'm like, I got this thing where it's like, I'll go. You know, I'll just do it as I as I go. So it like it comes naturally during the recording. And I don't know. It's. I do it for some songs, not all. But lately, I've been doing it for a lot of these songs. There's some songs I have finished and some I don't. And I'm like, when I get to the studio, I'll finish with the studio. I know I will. So here's one of them. It's called, it's a little sample. It's called God Made a Girl. Uh, whatever. I might even change some of the words. Uh, I don't even have many words to this, but here we go. Here we go. God, he, he made a girl. He made a girl for me. I know. <laughs> I can always say I need a girl because I'm like God. I'm more than a man. Alright, people. saying real words it's because I don't I really don't have any words and I'll put it in there when I when I get in the study study uh, the study uh. but anyway here's another one I've been working on it's called no mercy it could happen in a child down you you 
performing I just want to give people an example of like you know how embarrassing I can sound <laughs> anyway uh, this is another one I have been working on this one's called I don't even know I think it's uh, uh, what I forget what I named it oh I know that. <laughs> I named it Hope. Um. Uh. Hope for tomorrow. Okay. tomorrow yeah this is another one I have I don't even know what to name this one but this is another one I have I mean, I have more, uh, um, if I say it's doo-doo and la-las, you know, the song's complete and everything. I just don't have, like, words for it. But basically, it's just talking about how, for me, I guess in a perspective, a lot, a lot of people, even though they don't believe or feel that they're into themselves, they're sort of raised that way. Like, you know, I mean, it's great to believe in yourself, but what good is that if you, if you... <clears throat> if you don't believe in others. But anyway, I don't know. That's the way I look at it. Like, 
that everything's gotten so bad. We're raised to believe in ourselves and the things that we like, you know, accept that we forget about, you know, being accepting of others. And I'm not just talking about, you know, I'm not just talking. I'm not talking about the norm. We're we're. I'm not talking about the norm where things that are accepted are accepted because people think it's right for it to be accepted. I know that doesn't make any sense to a lot of people, but the norm, like let's just say uh, it's normal to, uh, let's say, uh, let's say it's it's normal, to, I know this is extreme, but let's say it's it's normal to slap people in the face. So like you go outside, and you, know, if you see people get slapped in the face every day because it's normal. So you start doing it because it's normal. You know, whatever, pick catches on. But, uh, you know, all of a sudden, when, you know, you, you don't think about, you know, like, what if somebody, you know, come along and they say, uh, I don't like slapping the face. We like punching better. Yeah. It's, it, it's all semantics in the end, but at the same time, it, it does make sense for one to establish love for not just themselves because in the end we end up alone because of it and you know that's why a lot of people feel alone you ever like you ever get that whole feeling like oh i'm so alone you know yeah i'm like how can you feel alone when there's hundreds of thousands of people around you that actually feel alone too you feel alone because you haven't taken time to you know, understand why these are the people who feel alone. So I don't know. It's like I said, it can it can be known as semantic as semantics, meaning like it's a loop, it's a it's a whole loop of crap. But anyway, but yeah, that's that's what that's on. And no mercy is basically about you know just stuff happening. <clears throat> people do things, and you know, just it's, I guess it's just basically life. A relationships could be a friendship could be you know bad news delivered to somebody and, you know it could make your whole world tear your whole world apart let's just say you, you were told that everything you were doing that you thought was good and right was um was not you know it tears your whole world apart what do you do then you have to relearn everything you learned unlearn and then relearn it's like starting over it's hard for people to let go of the world that they they believed was, was right but anyway let's see here do i have i have more and i'm trying to think which one's more uh i feel so silly you silly <clears throat> this is one i've been working i was like The sky carry me back And I'm there with you I hear the sound of the crowd react But my thoughts are still with you I'll have the rest of it. It's like I, I got like a chorus, but I'm not like I haven't rehearsed the chorus, but so it's like It's a little bit of a soft song. We're all soft. <laughs> Except God, I made a girl. It sounds like it could be a cool song. This is another one I have been working on. There was another song I, I just gotta rehearse it more because I a lot of these songs I came up in the past week or so. so 
because they're still fresh and I still don't have a grasp on like how I did it exactly. I, I always like go back to the drawing board on this. But uh, I got a couple more too. A couple more songs. And rather than make this video really long because I talk too much, um, <laughs> I'm going to cut it short. I'm trying to think if I have one more song I can throw in here. Oh yeah, I do. I, I, I sort of do. This one's called Win the Day. It's like, I, it's like over time, like, I put myself on the spot. I can't remember stuff. I guess I'm nervous. Song. Oh, I got this one too. This one's called My Favorite Song. <laughs> I like this one. This is good. I, now I just remember these ones. for now uh, I'm not really I said I'm not like doing my best or anything I just wanted to throw them out there 